Moving on to Togo, you guys know that the former president Nasibe Eyadema was in power for 38 years, four decades, 1967 till he died in 2005. And then he got rid of term limits, so he was able to rule all his life. When he died, his son took over in an election that killed more than 1,300 people. And then the son has basically continued in his father's footstep. Despite the fact that he studied abroad, he acts as if he doesn't know how life is elsewhere. And by next year, it will be 10 years that he's been in power, meaning that that his family has been ruling Togo for the past 48 years. 48, yeah, next year it will be 49 years that one family has been ruling Togo. Now, the president has refused to pass the referendum that's supposed to reverse the father's eradication of term limits so that they'll be able to have an election next year because he's not ready to leave. People have been shouting, pass the referendum, pass the referendum, we must implement term limits in Togo. All his corrupt officials are also supporting him. They also refuse to pass the referendum. But guess what? One beautiful lady has been shaking up the whole of Togolese cabinet. So ladies and gentlemen, meet Miss Farida Naborema. This woman has been blogging about all the atrocities in Togo for years and they hate her for talking about these things and putting it on the internet. They don't want the world to know what's going on in Togo because they keep turning their ears. Guess what she did? She published the phone numbers of all those corrupt officials, you know, all those corrupt ministers. And then she said, people start calling them. These are their cell phone numbers. <laughs> Ask them why they've turned their ears to her, please. So people started calling them them left and right, you know, night and day. Oh God, there is God now. Hey, why have you not passed our referendum? Eh? Of course, some people were not that gentle. You know, they were like, hello, hello. Is this Minister Thomas? Ah, God go punish you. You and your family. God go punish you. Oppressing your people for the sake of money. If you don't do something, if you don't do something, ah, thunder go fire you. Are you hearing me? Thunder go fire. That was not me. I mean, that was, you know, some Togolese people calling their ministers. Sure, you get it. Yes, that was how some people. Hey, I'm telling you, it's been real. And it's been working. It's been working. Guess what? Last week, for the first time, they had a peaceful protest about this referendum. Yes, so because before going for the protest Farida posted the phone numbers of the defense ministers and all these people and then people called them wanted them do not attack the protesters so we know your number we know where you live we are monitoring your movement so guess what the government did not send the policemen to suppress the protesters for the first time since they've been protesting about this referendum thing <laughs> The fact that she's posting their phone numbers is actually working, which is why I think that this woman is a hero. Now, this president has not done one interview, not one, or any press conference in the last 10 years that he's been in power. 10 years with no interview. The minimum monthly wage in Togo is $70. $70 per month. How do you live on $70? You know, in Nigeria, we're saying that the minimum wage is too low, 18,000 naira, which used to be about 130 something before the value of naira dropped. Yeah, I don't know how much it is now, but this is. $70, $70. How do you live on $70 in a month? Last year, when teachers went on strike protesting this low wage and students decided to protest in support of the teachers that the government should do something, do you know that they opened fire on students and they killed two of them? They killed two students in broad daylight. Now, the ridiculous thing is, since 1961, the public servant salary chart has not changed. Which means if you're hired by the Togolese government today, you'll be getting paid the same amount that your grandfather got paid in 1961. Even though there had been inflations and their currency has been devalued a few times, you're still gonna be getting paid what your grandfather got paid in 1961. Just imagine, that's like really, really ridiculous because Things are not the same price they were in 1961. No, seriously, Tonda should fire this man. Meanwhile, Mr. President keeps gyrating here and yet today you will see him in Brazil attending the carnival. Just imagine that. The guy has no job. And tomorrow you will see him in Italy for the opera. By the way, they said that the guy is uh, single. And technically he is single, you know. But as of last count, uh, the man has 17 children. 17 by 13 different women. <laughs> Yet he's single at the age 
they're 48. Also, I learned that the roads are really bad in Togo, except the roads leading to the homes of Mr. President's girlfriend. In 2009, he put his brother in jail because that one was also trying to rule after him. His father's son, he put him in jail just to make sure that he's the only one ruling. No, honestly, Togo needs a revolution. And if you ask me, I would say now is the time. The only thing that bothers me right now is the fact that they've been threatening this lady for so long. In fact, the president himself calls her a cancer in his government. And then the president said it's time to get rid of her. What? Can you imagine? Fortunately, she's here in America. And in case you're watching, my sister, no shaking, no shaking. If anyone bothers you, just let me know. Let me know. Pick your choice. Pick your choice, Mr. President. We can either settle this in a civilized way or we can go into karate. I, I don't care that you have no experience and I have a black belt. I'll do anything to defend people like this, even if it means bringing out my skills. Now, for the Togolese people that are saying, eh, hey, why does Farida have to be so bold? She's the one looking for trouble. Why can't she just keep quiet? I said, Kai, shame on you. I love you. Shame on you. Somebody is fighting for your comfort instead of you to support her. You are attacking her. Is she the one oppressing you? Hey, it's so sad because some of these people are even living in America. The amenities that they are enjoying here in America, they cannot enjoy it in their country. Somebody is fighting for your country to be as developed and as advanced as America and you are, you are yapping the person. Ah, every one of you, shame on you. The lady lives here in the US. She doesn't have to do this. She doesn't have to. It's very sad that most of the time in Africa, we don't always recognize our heroes until they are gone. It's, it's very sad. So my people, please do me a favor. Show some love to this beautiful lady from Togo for her bravery. She's doing something that a lot of people are afraid of doing. They keep threatening her and her parents but please show show her some love send her some words of encouragement on Twitter on Facebook because you know sometimes it can be overwhelming this coming year though Nasibe it's either you allow free and fair election or you pack your load and leave if not you will be kicked out by fire by force you guys know I don't know anything guess what I'm just keeping it real <laughs>